here is another reagent based question so not only the reagent let us try to identify the type of reaction also initially the molecule ethane is treated with the chlorine in presence of sunlight generally if nothing is mentioned we have to go for monochlorination as a result the product will be chloroethane free radical substitution reaction next it is treated with alcoholic koh that is used for dehydrohalogenation so that is a e2 mechanism bimolecular elimination reaction next uh, that is treated with the bromine ccl4 solvent is ccl4 not water that is a electrophilic addition reaction that proceeds through three membered cyclic halonium ion intermediate stereo specific reaction that is anti addition vicinal dibromide 1 comma 2 dibromo ethane but here this reagent is not known the product x is also not known you cannot proceed further so obviously here we need to go for a retrosynthetic analysis x on reaction with cold dilute alkaline potassium permanganate which is called bears reagent that is used for a syn dihydroxylation so that means before using this cold dilute alkaline potassium permanganate x must be ethene x must be ethene because bears reagent causes syn dihydroxylation that means in the retrosynthesis you have to remove these two oh groups and you have to keep a double bond like this that means x is obtained from 1 comma 2 dibromo ethane by using a suitable reagent in an empty box provided at the fourth place that is that is definitely dehalogenation for that we can use sodium iodide in acetone otherwise zinc dust we can use dehydro dehalogenation that is uh, proceeding through anti periplanar transition state so x is ethene the reagent used in the fourth uh, place that must be either sodium iodide in acetone or zinc dust